what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to Bitcoin daily I am Jay and today we're talking about this market and what's been going on in the news why we've seen so much volatility in the last day or so um, and what's going on with with Bitcoin really as you guys can see the prices right there um, first let's go ahead and take a look at the coin market cap once I move my face out the way there we go um, so let's take a look here but but before we take a look make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel make sure you guys are smashing that like button we're trying to continue to grow this page and this community and we can't do it without you guys so please 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 do that for us hit that notification bell so you can always be notified when we put out the latest videos which is five times a week so um, as you guys can see today Bitcoin is up uh, and the market cap overall is up to 398.67 billion dollars which is an increase over 1% um, the price of Bitcoin is currently at 13,546 here uh, you can see it's up about two and a half percent today um, and the only looks like the only other thing up right now in the top 10 is ethereum which is up one percent on the day um, it's currently down over the last seven days though as you can see there um, so let's go ahead and take a look at why these things have been happening why has the market been moving like that right so uh, if we look at the chart the first thing that that we see is what we talk we spoke about this on Monday and on on Friday's video as well um, there is a divergence here so as you can see there is a higher high lower lower high and here there is a lower high higher high so when uh, as we spoke about in yesterday's video about divergence when the price action and the momentum do not agree that's usually a sign of something's about to change doesn't mean the trends gonna change but it means either you know we're gonna pull back um, we're gonna trade in a range for for a bit something has to change because both of these momentum and the price action have to be in agreement to continue um, so as you can see here yesterday we had that big drop um, and we dropped right onto the support that we've been um, charting from this point right here as you can see it dropped right there and today this morning it dropped just under it right before just picking right back up um, and we'll, we'll go over why that might have been caused um, but it, but you can clearly see it here so that this support is still working here um, but you could definitely see the main support here is at 13,000 level so we spoke about this level uh, I believe yesterday we spoke about this level on Monday's video um, but yesterday's video about divergence we said that we're looking for a pullback to the 13,000 range and that's what we're looking to buy that was our first support entry our second support entry was 12,700 um, so it just touched that 13,000 range before jumping back up as you guys can see on this candle the low was 12,983 and it took off from there um, now as you can see if you look after this big drop and we look at this um, we can see it's starting to match up again with this RSI here with the momentum um, so we have to keep watching this to make sure that they continue together and in agreement um, which then uh, you know it means that we could continue up it means that um, you know we should we could see another big spike like this um, so we're watching that carefully we're making sure that they're both in agreement um, but yeah so so let's move on to today's news so the first thing that happened this morning was coronavirus right the pandemic it's been at it all the all year right um i'm sure you, you guys are all sick and tired of it just like i am um but coronavirus uh us re us records more than 80,000 new daily cases so it's been going up and i know it's not only here the same thing has been going on in europe um if you if you look here the daily new corona cases in the united states 
uh, in August we had the big drop off in September and then in October September October we started opening everything up again and we have taken off again we're back at the highs here right um, so so we're currently back at these highs that we were in back in July um, so that's one of the main reasons um, that uh, that this that we had this price drop today um, because that was reported everybody was you know freaking out a bit uh, on that news and uh, we kind of dropped because the stock market dropped so this dropped as well um, but then we got the US GDP booms at 33.1 percent rate in quarter three better than expected so uh, the US GDP accelerated at a 33.1 percent annualized pace in the third quarter uh, that was better than the 32 percent estimate from the Dow Jones economic survey a, a surge in business and residential investment along with stronger consumer activity helped the economy after its worst ever quarter in quarter two so that is good news and that is kind of what pushed the stock market up um, and it also pushed uh, Bitcoin up as well as you guys know since the pandemic started Bitcoin and the stock market has been pretty correlated um, we've been holding off this week so far because uh, the stock market has been going down so far this week and the last week and it's just been kind of crazy due to the whole election and presidents and the pandemic and all this nonsense that has nothing to do with Bitcoin right but you know people living here and in the world are they, they fear uncertainty um, so uh, it does affect the stock market and it does in return also affect Bitcoin um, but uh, as you guys can see here, the GDP, it dropped this. This was one of the biggest drops that we've had in a while. And then, uh, so now we bounced up pretty good. Um, so that was very good news in the market, which, you know, shot in return, shot up that, uh, the market up and it opened up green today. Uh, and in return and also, uh, shot up, uh, Bitcoin. Then the other thing that we got this morning was ECB hints at more stimulus in December as new coronavirus lockdowns are imposed. So, um, so this is the in, in Europe they're they're hinting at another stimulus package in December, um, which would kind of put pressure on the U.S. to also have a stimulus package. In the U.S., they've been talking about the stimulus package for months now for a second stimulus. Um, and uh, it's been like negotiations back and forth. Um, they can't agree on the price and they can't agree on, on how much they want to put into it or whatever. Um, so because of that, it hasn't got done. But I believe if ECB does get it done, that puts pressure on the United States also getting their stimulus done. So that's going to bring more market into the economy, which in return uh, is good for Bitcoin because if there's more money a lot of people last time put that money into Bitcoin so last time that the stimulus that everybody got the stimulus packages Bitcoin's price went up so due to those two things it helped the price take this big green bounce here as you guys can see so we dropped all the way down to 13,000 13,000 is that whole number that we really really like uh, we spoke about this number We've spoke about it a lot since we got here to the 13,000. Um, so we've been trading this range at 13,000 for a long time now, for about at least two weeks now. Um, and as you can see, we went up as high as 13,638 today. Um, so currently we're trading at 13,535 um, in that range. Um, so what I'm currently looking for here. Uh, either a breakout or a support right so for support I'm kind of still using the same entries here um, if I'm looking for a entry at support I'm, I'm gonna be looking in that in the 13,400 range is the first support right here so you can use that as support as a support entry um, then that 13,200 range it actually aligns with this ascending support line here 
so that 13,200 range is another support it's minor but it does align with the ascending support so it could be a good support to buy into and then the main support that I'm that I like is at 13,000 support now if we do break below 13,000 then the levels I'm looking at is right here the green box which is at uh, 12,700 range uh, that we we've spoke about plenty of times um, so those are the main things I am currently looking at. Um, let me see. I want to clone this. Is it going to let me know? I knew it wasn't going to let me move it. Here we go. I want to put this in, in this range as well here at 13,000. So where is this? This 13K, right? All right. So that's, that's close enough. Um, so this is the, the main range I'm looking at right now. If we do get a drop here, um, then the next level is down here. Uh, but you know, this Fibonacci retracement level here still does act as a support. And that will be the first support we're looking at. 12,200 is a second, 13,000 is the third. All right. Um, make this smaller. Uh, but yeah, so th that's the trade setups that we're looking at. Um, we're keeping our eye on the price, what price action is doing. Um, and we're, we're also keeping a price on momentum down here. Um, remember, be careful if you're setting up stop, uh, stop buys and entries down here. Um, because you don't want to be in it and then it, it just fall right through. You know what I mean? You kind of, what you want to do is after it you see it kind of bouncing back up it's kind of where you want to buy so um you have to be careful if you're sitting at your computer uh monitor monitoring it then it's fine you can set up the buys and then it, you know if it's breaking through make sure you set stops right away um but if you're not monitoring it then be careful make sure to set alerts on your phone and all that so that you're ready to jump out if uh things don't go the right way um, but that's basically it guys. These are the, the, the levels that we're looking at. Those are the trade setups that we're looking at. That's what's been going on today in the market. Um, that's why we've had all this volatility today. Um, and yeah, we're getting ready for the weekend. As you guys know, the weekend is usually low volume. It's pretty slow. And then when it opens up, uh, the market opens up on, uh, the futures market opens up on Sundays, volume starts picking up a bit and things kind of randomly move so uh we have to watch for that um and so so tomorrow we're gonna do a full market analysis on what we're looking at what we're looking for during the weekend and any trade setups that uh, might be popping up to us popping out to us so we'll see what happens from here till tomorrow as you guys saw yesterday a lot happened overnight so be prepared for that overnight volatility and that early morning volatility um that's it guys thank you so much uh if you stayed to the end make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure that you're liking that video and uh the question of the day here is what are the um, what are the supports the well what are the trade setups that we're looking for you know where, where are we looking to enter these trades um and that's that's basically it just just put in the comment section uh, what the trade setups that we mentioned were uh, our trade ideas and that's basically it for the question of the day uh, that's it guys thank you very much peace and love see you guys tomorrow